Proper tip selection is an important step when brazing copper tubing during the installation of an AC or refrigeration system. But how do I know what size tip to use? Well, the size of the job determines the size of the tip, and the size of the tip determines the pressures to set on your regulators. Now, if you're using a tip that's too small for the job, you won't be able to bring your copper tubing up to the target temperature needed. If you're using a tip that's too large for the job and you compensate by dialing back your fuel pressure, you will starve the tip. This means there will not be enough pressure to push the flame out and have it burning outside the tip. It will actually draw back inside and be burning inside the tip. This will cause your tip and handle to become very hot and can lead to equipment failure. To find the proper tip size for a job, reference Uniwell's HVAC catalog tip chart. This shows you all of the available tips Uniwell has to offer along with regulator settings and tubing capacity for each tip. Typical HVAC line sets will be 3 eighths or 7 eighths, so let's say you'll be working on a 7 eighths piece of copper tubing. Scanning the copper tubing sizes on the chart, you see a tip with a 1 inch capacity. This is very close to 7 eighths and will work best for this job. The chart tells you to use a type 17-2 tip and the regulator pressure should be set at 5 psi for oxygen and 5 psi for acetylene. Now that you have selected the proper tip, the two O-rings on the mixer should be inspected to ensure that they are still intact. Now, if these O-rings need to be replaced, they're available at your local HVAC distributor under part number TXRK. And this kit comes with 10 O-rings, five of each size, and you simply slide off the old O-rings and slide the new ones on. Now, once you've inspected these O-rings and ensured that they're intact, you can attach that to your handle. Now, because Uniwell's oxyacetylene tips have that double O-ring seal, these should only be hand-tightened onto the handle. Do not wrench tighten these tips down as it will crush the O-rings and the oxygen and acetylene will not mix properly. Next we will set the pressures on our regulators. Now the chart told us that our oxygen and acetylene pressure should be set at 5 and 5. However, the 12 foot hose that is connected will cause a pressure drop of about 2 psi. Therefore, we'll set the pressures on oxygen and acetylene at 7 and 7. Once you have your tip connected to your handle and your regulator set at the proper pressures, now you're ready to light your torch. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt with Uniweld, quality tools that go to work with you.